Let's talk about the Ducky Boys. Short, stunted Irish kids, none of them over five feet tall. And they were there were there were hundreds of them. That's 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 how Richard Price portrayed them in his original book, The Wanderers, which the Wanderers movie was made from. Um they that that's that's actually a true statement. There were a lot of Ducky Boys. I mean, I kept going down rabbit holes and I was I I, I probably found over a hundred ducky names that I that I was trying to reach and then there were like others that were like um, satellite members, so they were all, all over the place. So there were they, they were they were swarms, um, and it's probably true that they weren't over five feet tall. Um, most of them, most of them were were like thirteen years old. Really, that young, huh? It, it, that, that's it, they had a reputation, but they 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 were teenagers. Interesting. You know, they were they were they were like you know like 13, 13, 14, 15, You know that that age. So they're not they're not your standard gang. The, the, the Ducky Boys and the Florida Baldies are gangs in name only. The you know, Florida Baldies a gang, <clears throat> but the Ducky Boys was a gang. But it wasn't. It was a, a lot of kids. And then again, back in the time, every neighborhood had a gang. Why did they call themselves the Ducky Boys? All right. So the, that the, the, this is we go into you know people's memories. Um, when, when I first interviewed, when I first interviewed people about Ducky Boys, um, I had heard that they, 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 the story was that they, that the, the original one of the original members got arrested, and instead, and he got arrested for doing for, for doing something, and he wouldn't tell him his friends, and they, to the point where he he kept silent and kept, kept everyone out of trouble. So the Ducky Boys cut off their tongues in honor of that. Right, I got laughed at when I told them when I told real Ducky Boys the story. <laughs> It's not that bad, um, right? It, 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 it's a really, it's a great story. I, I, I mean, I, I got the person I attributed to was was handsome Dick Manitoba of the of the, the punk band The Dictators. Okay, and, and I met him years later, and and he as soon as he knew who I was, he yelled at me He's like, "How how would you ever get that attribute that to me?" I was like, and I told him, "I was like, this you, this guy told me you you told him," and but he, he got he got so mad at me because he's like, "I never said that." I was like, well, you know, talk to him. He told me that you said that. So, but he, he, he um, handsome Dick Manto is really cool. He's like a really, he's a, he's, he's a really hardcore Bronx type. And, but again, a good guy. Um, but, so that, that, that was the main, that was the main story. That was, that, that was the first story I heard. Then, ah, what the, it, it, it's, I heard it, something about a duck pond. Was, is it, is that not true or? Yeah, there's, there's, yeah, there's, 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 there's two versions of that. There's, there's, then there's then there's the the, the then there was like okay these the, the three young ducky boys from that the, the, the founding the founding ducky boys that were that lived three hundred feet away from my, my my building when I growing up they were kids they were 12, 12, 13, and they were and they were at the pond the duck pond in in, in Bronx Park which is the, the, the borders changed now so Bronx Park and Botanical Gardens they used to share a lot more like they weren't as established lines so I don't know where we wanted to begin or the other but anyway they were in the duck pond with their bikes and these older kids came, you know, 18 year olds came and they start, they start picking on them and threw the bikes into the water. Um, and so one of the, one of the big guys, girlfriends gotten really annoyed at the guy, at the big guys for picking on little kids and stopped them from, from, from bullying. Them. And the, she became the ducky queen because, you know, so she became the, and she became the ducky queen and the kids who all became the ducky boys. Right, cute story. Um, also, probably not true. Um, when I told these stories to, to like one of the, the ducky heads, um, he laughed at me and he go basically goes, "No, the reason why we were called the Ducky Boys is because we hung out by the duck pond, and the cop goes, oh, stop, go round up the ducky kids.' Yeah, you know, that simple. it was that, it was as simple as that. <laughs> yeah, um, there, there was this this, this this lake on, on on the border of uh, Bronx Park and Town Gardens called Twin Lakes, and that's where they that's that was their like their one of their bases. And there's not a lot of stuff on uh, the war, the Wanderers online, man. I mean, you can't you could barely find interviews. I mean, you could barely find you know a lot of things. I wonder why that is, dude. I mean, I know Warriors overshadowed it by a mile, should be by a long shot, but right. oh, it's, it's, again, I mean, again, unless you're from the Bronx, 
I mean, Bronx kids really love the love the Warriors. Okay. Obviously, um, the Warriors is a New York movie, but so it's, it's, it's I mean, the Warriors is basically over overshadowed everything. Um, believe it or not, um, the Lost Boys of the Bronx book it's really, it's gotten. I mean, it's not it's not like I can't quit my day job anytime soon, but it's it's, it's gotten pretty popular over the years. Like I I've, I've heard like. I mean, um, Ken Wall's been been knows about it. He loves oh, yeah. the book. Oh, nice. um, Tony Ganos um, loves the book. Um, well, Richard, I, I sent I sent an original copy, uh, uh, the first copy to Richard Price. He, he gave me like he gave me my quote for the book, saying, "You know, I was like I, I read it in, in one sitting." And then you know, a couple of years later, he invited me to his house to talk about it, which he gave me a signed copy of the original Wonders, which is still one of my favorite moments of my life. Nice, but it's. There isn't a lot on the on the Wanderers or the Ducky Boys. I mean, even the Ace Freely book has like a, it has a small part of it. it has a, it has like a small piece because he with Ace Freely again was a Ducky Boy, you know. So he, he he's he's claiming that you know he, he he basically puts that in his book all the time. Nice. So he's 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 enjoying that as well. Like he he he, he likes pushing, but there's really not a lot on. I mean. The only reason I knew that the, the gangs and of the Ducky Boys are real is because my brother was grew up in that neighborhood. And he was he's old. He was, he was about he was about twenty. He was about um, fifteen years older than me. So he was there during like the Fordham. Like his his father knew about the Fordham Baldies, and he would tell me about these stories. You know what do you know about? Do you know if the Wongs and like the other groups that were mentioned in the movie were they more fictional gangs, or do you know if they actually existed? The Wong, okay, the other gangs, I, I can't find much more about the, the, the other gangs. Um, the Wongs, I've, I've had a lot of people come up to me with, like, um, stories that the Wongs exist. They exist in, if, if, I, if I followed up every lead and thought it was true, there would, the Wongs, there would be Wongs in, like, every neighborhood in the, in the Bronx. Mm. Um, there, I can't, I couldn't, I couldn't find any solid evidence that the Wongs existed. Um, the, the, the funniest part is that one of the leaders of the Ducky Boys is Chinese. Is, is Chinese, hmm. right? Right. He, again, nice guy. Um, he's a uh, he, he's a gang. He was a gang guy. Is he, he was a short dude, um, tough as. It was, he, he, when you talk to him, you, I, when I talked to him on the phone, I didn't know. I, you wouldn't know he was Chinese. This is, yeah, he talked just like a Bronx kid. Um, and he told me that a lot of people thought he was part of the Wongs. So, I, I mean, I, I don't, I, when I asked Richard, when I asked Richard Price about all this, and he, you know, cause I, I had to know, like, well, how did you come, like, what did you, like, and this was after I'd written the book, and I was like, none of these, none of these stories match what the real gangs are. He goes, that's because, that's because The Wanderers is, is a work of fiction, mm-hmm. and I had artistic license. Like I had heard stories about these guys back in the day, you know, and it's funny. Some of the stories he had heard actually happened in different ways. Like he, he, like, like the the Ducky neighborhood heard about the Ford and Baldies. They were, to, by the way, totally different errors. The Ducky boys were in the sixties. The Ford and Baldies were in the fifties, right? But we, what we had heard, but what our neighborhood had heard about the Ford and Baldies, which may or may not have been true, which was you know completely exaggerated. That's what they. That's what other neighborhoods were hearing about the Ducky Boys, like you know the Ducky of the Legends. You know, like I mean, I know they they they've had fights down in Tremont. By the way, where are you from? I just I, I mean, Los are, you, are you from the Bronx? No, I'm from Los Angeles. So, okay, so you, Way on okay, the other so side. You, yep. you, you, okay, so okay, so you don't you, you don't know these areas that I'm talking about? Very no, close, no, but very, you know what I do just well. from just from knowing about New York and things like that, but and going down rabbit holes like yourself. So, but keep it going, keep it going. Okay, so. Um, where, where, where did I leave off? Okay, so, okay, so he basically said, he, ba- he basically made up a lot of stuff, but a lot of the stuff that he made up kind of had some truth to it. Um, the scene, the scene where, um, the, where the Ducky Boys all just, um, that showed up at the park. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the scene where, um, Turkey, when the you know, Turkey and the Ford and Baldies crashed the Wanderers party, mm-hmm. Turkey that happened daily, with, you know? but, Tara, right, that Roger, ha- where are you guys? I told you. 
Roger, that's the guy. That's, that's <laughs> Roger, there you go. Oh, yeah, there we okay. go. <laughs> it all comes full circle, baby. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And again, if you like the Wonders, I, I'll get along with you. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so they were, so they, they crashed that party. What happened in, in real life, one of the ducky girls, which again, the ducky girls, uh, they, they, I mean, they, they, they were part of the ducky boys, but the, they were the ducky girls. You know, they don't, they don't get enough respect, but they, they really were a big part of the ducky boys. Right. They were just, they were just as tough. And I mean, I've met a few of them and they, 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 they kicked my ass. Um, 